chef, dietitian, and cookbook author. And what I want to share with you today is a recipe that's kind of desserty, but it's delicious for breakfast. And it's going to start with a large, fresh, ripe peach. And that's going to be the key, is actually making sure it's ripe, because what you want to do is cut all the way around to the seed, twist, and then remove the seed. And if it's really ripe, that seed is going to be very easy to, to remove. And at this point, what I'm going to do is brush with either butter. So I have melted unsweetened butter, and that's going to add kind of that delicious desserty property to the peach. Or you can just, if you are concerned about your health, it's always going to be better to go with a healthy oil. And this is a grapeseed oil. So whichever one you prefer, we're now going to grill this. So it's taking the peach to the next level. So put that on your hot grill pan, or if you're lucky enough, your own grill. And we're going to grill that for about five minutes. But kind of halfway through, what I'm going to do is twist them. So, or just like do about a quarter of a turn so I have really cool cross-hatch grill marks on those peaches. Right, so I actually put a lid on this. It's not necessary, but I like to do that to create kind of extra smokiness with my peaches. And since I'm inside, so my kitchen doesn't get too smoky. All right, now we're turning a quarter turn. So you can see we have beautiful grill marks. And then we're gonna have hot patch mark. So just another couple minutes, not even a couple minutes on this side. And then we're going to flip these over for about maybe two minutes and let it cook all the way through and we're just about there. Okay, so it's been about a total of five minutes and we should have lovely crosshatch grill marks on our peaches. Oh my goodness, that looks so delicious. I cannot wait to dig in. All right, so now we're just, just a couple minutes on this side and that's really just to get the peach all the way heated through. And I'm going to put that lid back on actually. Let it get a little extra smoky. Okay, so now we are done. Oh my goodness, cannot wait. All right, so taking our cake, and we're going to put it on our plate. And now we are ready to top these. Now I have the grilled peaches and this is the really cool part, literally. We're taking some Greek yogurt, and this is the plain Greek yogurt. So we're gonna add a lot of refreshing tang to this. This is gonna create our sundaes. So grilled peach breakfast sundae, how about that? Okay, so top this with all of this luscious Greek yogurt. And next thing I'm gonna do is drizzle this with a little bit of honey just to balance out that tanginess. Oh, how is this looking? Divine? All right, so now that we have... Okay, now we're adding our finishing touch, which is the chopped, roasted, lightly salted pistachios. And it's going to add color and texture and, of course, nuttiness. So it's just that really nice finishing touch. And really, the best way to chop these pistachios, just hold your knife firmly, put three fingers on the top, and then just pick up the back of the knife and that way you get a nice chop going and they don't roll over the place. A lot of times people will buy special contraptions just for cutting something like a nut. No need, all you need is a cutting board and a chef's knife. So there we go, you don't need to even have to um, chop them too much because when you do that, you lose kind of all of that, that texture going on. So just coarsely chopped and at this point, the finishing touch, sprinkle those all over our sundaes, and oh my gosh, whoever thought you could eat sundaes for breakfast, right? And there you go. This is our grilled peach breakfast sundae. Cannot wait to dig in. Hope you enjoy, and please visit my website at JackieNugent.com.